so during my live streams you are watching me taking notes for 12 hours every day and I never really got the opportunity to explain you guys what is my thought process behind the taking notes and how do I take notes while studying for so long because note taking can be very hard sometimes and it can be very tedious sometimes to write for so long so if you don't know exactly what you're doing using notes can be very inefficient so after three years i've been studying like this i changed my study technique along the way many times and i think i reached a point when i feel confident enough to explain you guys how i take notes very effectively and how my note taking is actually active learning and I use the note taking to learn along the way. If you are new here, hi, my name is Ari, I'm a medical student at Harvey Course, and I stream myself studying on this channel for a long period of time. Along the way and along the streams, I get a lot of different questions, and I want to take this opportunity to explain to you guys how I'm actually taking notes very effectively, because I've been studying for so long, for the past couple of years, 12 hours every day, and I changed my study technique multiple times along the way and I think I'm confident enough at this point to actually explain you guys what I'm doing during the 12 hours and how I'm taking notes while I'm actually studying actively because it's very easy to take notes and not actively understand what's going on and the active learning part of taking notes is something that is very easy to miss while you're taking notes you should actively learn and be very engaged in what you are doing. And my way of taking notes can be a bit weird to some people, but I believe it will help many people to enhance their note-taking experience. Because if we split the note-taking way to two different groups of people, so one group of people is usually taking notes passively, just following the lecture and taking notes, and the other one will use some sort of my version of taking notes which is actively following the lectures and using your memory and your active recall when you are taking notes so you will see that my note taking technique is a bit weird but i believe it will fit many people and it will help many people i use active recall in space repetition even when i'm taking notes so if you're watching this video i'm sure you saw a couple of videos before my video about study techniques and you have some sort of idea of active recall in space repetition if you don't, active recall space repetition is basically the most basic way your mind works in order to retain information and it works on a base of use it or lose it. If you are not going to recall the memory from your brain every couple of days or in space interval, you are not going to remember what you learned. So you see active recall and space repetition when it comes to flashcards. And when it comes to my note, I actually combine flashcards and my note at the same time. So I'm going to actively take notes during the lectures, which I'm going to explain in a minute what is actively taking notes. And then I'm turning them into flashcards immediately after. So I will be able to revise my notes in sections along my following semester to understand and remember the note I took. So even if you feel during the lectures that it was very easy for you and you're going to retain the information, the difference between short-term memory and long-term memory is significant. And the jump between short and long term is something that is very hard to do because even if you are doing the lectures taking notes passively, which I'm going to explain in a minute what is the difference between actively and passively taking notes. So if you passively take notes during the lecture and you gain the confidence that you are probably going to remember it because it makes sense for you and you see the lecture in front of you and you are following the professor and you are taking notes, the jump between short term memory and long term memory is something that you have to work on a lot. And me personally, I use active recall and space repetition, but I also use active recall and space repetition while I'm actually taking the notes. So I would like to divide my note taking technique into a couple of steps. So step one would be either if it's offline, online or a YouTube video that you're going to watch. I'm going to watch the entire video or lecture at two times speed if I can. And I'm going to take short sentences about the main topic of the lecture. So I'm going to get the general idea when I watch it during the first time. And I'm just going to write sentences about the actual titles and important topics the lecturer talked about. For example, I'm watching a lecture about meningitis and the professor told us about the symptoms, the treatment, the way you diagnose it. So I'm just going to quickly sketch a general diagram of the flow of the actual lecture. So meningitis, symptoms, diagnosis and treatment. I'm just going to have a general mind map of the most important points the professor said 
During the time I watched the lectures two times speed. It's really easy to lose focus during the lecture. So because I watched the video at two times speed, it's very easy for me to follow the video and stay focused even if it's two times speed. So compared to normal speed, sometimes I lose concentration very easily, but because it's very quick and I need to actively follow the lecture and take sh small paragraph of everything, I find myself very focused because it's very engaging and very quick. And also you feel confident about yourself after following a lecture for that should be one hour in 30 minutes. You feel like you're accomplishing a lot. So this is a nice way to be focused and keep your confidence along the way. Because if you feel confident, it will be very easy for you to actually stay focused. So when I'm done with the lecture and I watch the entire lecture at two times speed and I have the mind map in front of me of the general points. So I'm going to watch the lecture again, but this time I'm not going to use two times speed. I'm going to use around one and a half times speed. And I'm going to pause the video every three to five minutes. And I'm going to take notes, not during the three to five minutes. I'm going to actually take notes after watching the five minutes while asking myself, Ari, what do you actually remember from the five minutes you just watched? And if I'm finding myself struggling and not actively recalling too much information, a lot of information out of my memory, it means I didn't understand something and it means I don't remember and I'm not following the lecture. So if I can't actively recall the information from those three to five minutes of the lecture, at least the most important key points that I should remember, for example, uh, definitions, values, if it's a uh, treatment, diagnosis, drugs, names of the drugs, if I can't actively recall them, I'm going to watch the three to five minutes again. So once you do it again, those three to five minutes will be way more important to you. you now we are going to keep looping those three to five minutes over and over again until you can reach a point where you can actively recall from your brain from your memory what you just studied and what you just watched in the three to five minutes because you don't want to watch the same five minutes over and over and over again you basically condition yourself to focus because you know the reward from the focus would be i'm not going to watch the five minutes over and over again because i really don't want to do it and when you reach a point when you actively taking notes and you create your own notes and not passively taking notes with a professor, you learn way better. And I find it myself, I learn way better when I do it myself. Let's sum the second step. I watch a video for five minutes. I ask myself, Ari, what do you actually remember from the five minutes you just watched? Then I try to think very hard and to write down the notes and the points I remember from the five minutes. Then I'm going to watch if I was correct. If I was correct, nice, I'm going to watch another five minutes. If I wasn't, this is the point when you just watch it again and do the technique again. So it might seem a bit redundant to watch the same video like two to three times. So I'm watching the lecture two to three times. If you think about it, the first time of watching a lecture, it's short term memory. You are not going to remember almost anything. The sec second time, the second time you're watching a lecture, you start to get the hang of the study material because you got the understanding of what is going to be along the lecture. So you know what to expect in the future and you start to connect the points you were seeing in the beginning of the video or the lecture and you connect them to the points you just saw at the end of the video. And the third time you're watching the video or the lecture, you are actively recalling from your brain and from your memory the things you should remember and you are testing yourself when you watch the lecture for the third time if you actually understand the study material, which is a crucial point and this is why I'm taking so many notes. So in step one, I had the general mind map of what's going on in the lecture. In the second step, I'm using the general mind map and the understanding and I'm feeling a lot, a lot of sentences under each subject. The third time I'm watching the lectures, I'm going to actually actively recall every three to five minutes I'm going to understand exactly if I, I understand the study material and watching the lectures for a couple of times while doing the active recall while you're taking notes will give you a lot of confidence when it comes to your studies because again you should really differentiate between short-term memory and long-term memory and the jump between short and long term is only by doing active recall and space repetition and implementing active recall while you're taking notes Asking yourself why and what do I remember from the lecture will enhance your study techniques and your study experience by a bunch. And if you are comparing it to a passive way of taking notes, you might watch your entire lectures in like five to six hours, but think about 
what do you actually going to remember from those? You are probably going to remember and understand on the specific day you watch the lectures, but you are not going to remember after a couple of days. You are just going to forget. So it's better to take the notes actively from your own memory compared to actually passively following the lectures and just to take notes of what the, the professor says, convincing yourself that you are following along and understanding the subject. So step number three and the last one would be creating flashcards out of my notes. And what I personally do is I sit, I watch the notes again, I get the understanding of the most important points, values, ways of treatments, names of drugs, definitions, the names of receptors, everything I actually need to remember. Then I'm going to go to Google and to Quora and to different websites that people ask questions. And I'm going to read about the specific definitions and the things from the notes I actually just read and watch a lecture about and I'm going to invent questions that basically going to remind me what I just studied. So for example, if I just study about meningitis and the ways of treatments, I'm going to go to Quora or to any different website that people ask questions on and I'm going to type what are the ways of the treatment of meningitis and I'm going to read several articles about different ways of treatment and I'm going to create Anki card that basically cover the subject from all of the directions. As a medical student, I'm not really expected to cover my entire syllabus only using the lectures and I have to supplement from external resources. So basically, I'm going to take my notes, which is the mind map with the small definitions and the things I actively recall during step number two. And each one of the things I actively recall from my memory during the lecture, I'm going to translate into Anki flashcard. So if you don't know what Anki is, it's basically an app that you can create your own flashcards. And this way you are doing the active recall and space repetition because this app allows you to make intervals between your revisions. And for example, if you write a flashcard, so you are going to see it in one, three, seven, ten days. And it is going to be very easy for you to review your flashcards in different time intervals. If you want me to show you how I'm actually taking the notes and translate them into flashcards, let me know because I think it's a, it's, it should be a video on its own. But in general, I'm going to basically create a front and back card which very short question and very short answer based on the notes I just took and I'm going to take a screenshot from the actual lecture, the online lecture or the recording and I'm going to put it in the Anki flashcard. So let's summarize the three steps I use in order to take notes effectively and actively learn along the lecture itself. So one would be to watch the lecture and to create a mind map that actually summarizes the key point that you should remember from the actual lectures. Step number two would be to fill the mind map with many small segments, many small branches of the mind map of the things and definitions you need to memorize, but you do it, you make the branches for on the actual mind map using your own memory after watching three to five minute segment of the actual video and while asking yourself, what do I remember from the video? What do I remember from the lecture? And when you do it actively, this way you are actually taking notes while actively recall the study material, which is the most important part. So the title of the lecture, the main points of the lecture, and overall the small branches from different type of the lecture would be the things you actively recall from your own memory in the specific segments along the actual lecture. So step number three would be to translate the mind map into actually flashcards and to go from short-term memory into long-term memory. So this is how I actually use my notes to actively recall and to memorize my lecture. This is how I follow the lecture and I stay focused during the lecture and after the lecture. And this is how I stay engaged along the lecture because I force myself and I test myself every three to five minutes. So if you like the video, don't forget to hit a like and subscribe and join me next time when I study 12 hours every day. My schedule, and everything is in the description. Also, don't forget to join the Discord study rooms we have. It's a nice experience if you want to enhance your study in general. You should really check the Discord as well. And let me know in the comments what is the next video I should create. See you next time, guys.